Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. Find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time I'm talking about Every Black Order Marvel Legends. So the members of the Black Order were the Black Dwarf, Corvus Glaive, Ebony Maul, Proxima Midnight, Super Giant, Black Swan, and also, of course, Thanos. So the first time we got anything was when we got the Build-A-Figure for the Cold Obsidian. This is supposed to be the MCU version of the Cold Obsidian, which they did not have the likes for yet. So it doesn't actually look like what the movie gave us. Next, we got Proxima Midnight. Of course, again, all these are MCU-based. Then we have the Ebony Maul, came in Thanos Armor Build-A-Figure Wave. Then we had an Infinity War 2-pack with Loki and Corvus Glaive. So jumping over to all the Thanoses that we've gotten, we have the Thanos Build-A-Figure Wave. We also have the Walmart exclusive re-release repaint of that one. Then we have the MCU Thanos the first time. And that same Build-A-Figure was re-released overseas as a UK exclusive. And then we have the Thanos Iron Man Doctor Strange three pack from the Marvel's first ten years, which was uh, basically the build a figure except better. And then we have the Thanos armor build a figure from the in game wave. Jumping in for a thirty year anniversary, we have the Infinity Gauntlet. Started out in 1991, and 2021 will be its 30 years. So they're going to celebrate by giving us a deluxe figure for Thanos. And this will be about the same size as all the other Thanoses that we got. This is talking about that fan first Tuesday from Hasbro Pulse. Now, normally they're fan first Fridays, but this time they jumped to a Tuesday for some reason for this Marvel Legends reveal. And Dwight. Made a statement at the very end of all three, all four of his uh, teases. He also said, don't get too much sun and torch yourself out there. And showed us this, what looks like a burnt up arm. And of course, we think it's probably Thanos' arm. And newly revealed, we have the Black Order box set from Amazon. Which gives us the children of Thanos, Proxima Midnight, Corvus Glaive, Black Dwarf, and Ebony Maul. And then you also get Thanos with his burnt arm. And check out that weapon up there on the side of Black Dwarf. Or Cole of Sitting, you guys would call him, I guess, from the movie. Thing's awesome. And here it is from the front. It doesn't look as good at that angle. But this looks so much better than the Build-A-Figure, so much more movie accurate. And then we get that Thanos uh, Build-A-Figure released again, but this time with the burnt head and the burnt arm. So this will be like the third or maybe even the fourth time that's been released. And then there's the three. Ebony Maul, Corvus Glaive, and Proxima Midnight. Pretty cool. Not a bad box set. $119.99 on Amazon. You can go pre-order it now. And here it is. I know everybody wants to see it. Here's a side-by-side comparison of each one of these. Old on the left, new on the right. This is the most improved of them all right here, the Cold Obsidian. Notice he has boots, lots more clothing on. Versus the original. The hammer looks so much better. This is not a good angle, but if you look at the package, you see how much better that hammer looks. And 
And there he is compared to the movie. So here is the Ebony Mall comparison, old versus new. And you'll see the difference in the grays on the old and the left versus the darker black on the right. So which one is correct? Well, technically, the original on the left is correct. But at least they're given a different figure this time. Old versus new, left and right. I don't really see a difference, guys. You tell me what you guys see. And then old versus new with the Proxima Midnight. There's definitely a lot of differences here. The face sculpt especially. And I don't know if it's just the exposure of the picture here, but the gold just look a lot more gold on the original. And I originally, I think the original sculpt, head sculpt, looks even better than the, than the new one. What you guys think about that? But there's your movie accuracy. It's got that line down her lip. So they, they did well with that. And here's your old versus new with your Thanos. Of course, we've had two of them already, so here's your third. And do I think this was needed? No. Do I think it's really cool that we got a burnt arm and a burnt face on this new one? Definitely. So here's all of the Black Order that we've gotten so far in Marvel Legends form. Here they all are in package. Here's my most wanted or wish list. I'd love to see them in comic form. I'd love to see them MCU accurate, like for the Call of City. I'd love to see the Black Swan as well being built. Let me know what you guys think if you are ready to see any of these remade as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.